If we've learned anything from Assassin's Creed, it's that nothing is true and everything is permitted. Like For Honor's hulking Shigoki performing a swift assassination. The event is called uh, For the Creed. It's going to be an animus simulation where uh, Abstergo will propose you to play as a knight, viking, or a samurai, and also playing with a bit of the AC stuff in our game. It's going to last three weeks, where the player will be able to play a specific game mode. It's a modification on the Dominion game mode, where uh, you will have to go in the center zone, where the, the soldiers are pushing each other. And if you can control this zone, it will spawn the general of the other team. The game mode event will feature either the side of the assassin as the attacker, or the Templars as the defender. So the general will be Yezio or Cesare. At the second they spawn, because your zone is pushed, the soldiers have been killed, then you just have to kill the general, and then you get points until you get to a certain amount of points, and uh, you just have to kill the other team and you're fine. So that was pretty cool for us to just use these classic characters to skin them in our game, and you literally fight versus them as if they were part of the Forerunner world. It's not an easy character that you have to fight normally, it's just it seems I'm like more of a big boss where, that you have to defeat every time. For the first time, we also have a finish kill that is shared throughout uh, all the characters, which is the iconic uh, killing with the hidden blade. We change the drop attack. We have different minions. All the maps that we use for the game mode event are also skinned. And what we did is that we had a an, an amazing range of possibilities with all the weapons that were created in, uh, AC, uh, in the AC games. The people who know the brand and who knows those weapons will still recognize them. It's stuff from pretty much all the games, which is weapons, some elements for your emblem as symbols, new outfits that is about either Animus, being a Templar, being an assassin. We have the, a new mask outfit that is also themed on the new AC, uh, AC Odyssey. Everywhere you will go in the game, you will feel that you are into like an animus simulation. You get in there and you'll, you know that, okay, w this is the animus. So we have For Honor uh, in this kind of matrix, which is the animus, which is a good way to welcome the, the players into this event. A lot of glitches and different elements and even one that is hidden in the map on each of the three maps. It's a love letter for AC, but also for Froner as well, because we try to make sure that we respect the fan, that we know they love these brands as well. It's going to be available on the 20th of December 2018 for three weeks, so it will end then on the 10th of January 2019. <laughs>